Hey, good people. It's your old buddy, Mark, from Vintage Audio Nagoya, and we're going to look at uh, four kind of unique items today. One is a Castum uh, A-Track Echo Chamber, and next is a Gaiatone uh, EM808, and then a Hawk HR15 big massive dual spring reverb unit, and a Roland TR66 I just realized is on the floor. But uh, we'll get those hooked up over here. It's going to become painfully obvious when I'm working the Roland that I'm not a dub master, all right? But uh, I'm going to show you some of the sounds of the Roland going through the tape echo machine. So come on back and uh, let's take a look at these. Okay, let's just run through it a little bit. Samba. If you're not familiar with the TRs, uh, the balance is not a balance at all, but it's how much uh, of the higher end percussion comes over that bass. I just love these things. Okay, next let's take a look at this Hawk HR15. I really love these things. One, I mean, just look at them. It's absolutely gorgeous. Two, uh, the, the spring echo sound that you get uh, from these or the reverb sound that you get is incredible. Now I'm running it through this old uh, VX55 roll and mixing amp, which I'm a huge fan of these as well. Uh, these have their own reverb on board and actually I'll see if I can show you that right away. So right now we're on channel one coming out of the back of this uh, Hawk unit and we have no echo on right now. We're at normal. Uh, here's the Hawks uh, reverb check check and we'll come back to that in a second but right now I'm on uh, echo or no effect because there's no echo machine hooked up to it but if we go to reverb here check 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 one two check that's the reverb that comes on the Roland check and beautiful I love these these reverbs they're just terrific uh, I have these units up quite a bit uh, for sale reasonable I think because they go so well with a RE 150 or 101 they're just terrific machines so let's put this back on echo so now we got no echo here we're just going to hear uh the reverb i keep saying uh, echo but i think you know what i'm saying i'm saying that because they call it echo on the machine uh so here's the hawks reverb check check but just listen to that sustain of that uh that echo it's just terrific check 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 one two Check. Check. Okay, I'm going to come back and plug a guitar into it. Okay, I've hooked a guitar up to it. And uh, this is without reverb, so you can just hear this for a second.
explanation for why I'm using the cheapest worst cable I have and a noisy guitar <laughs> to demonstrate this absolutely beautiful silent hawk machine. But for whatever reason, that's what I hooked up. So there it is. But it gives you a feel for it. I just love them. They're they're just beautiful, beautiful machines. The wood ends and uh, that brush silver face and they sound terrific look at the pictures of the size of those springs uh, really great reverb units all right here's the em808 and i mentioned this in the ad but uh, the direct plus echo is a little bit quieter so i'm going to start with that Oh my god, they're so awesome. All right, we're going to switch over to the uh, echo only uh, plug here. Oh, we'll turn it down. Like I mentioned, this one's uh, considerably louder uh, for whatever it is. Probably a cap. I haven't spent any time in this one really, so. Uh, but let's listen to this. So you notice it's much more responsive in the uh, wet only. Holy shit, that sounds like uh, the sink dripping in a bad dream, man. God, if you're still with me, I could again, I could just spend my whole life doing this, but I gotta eat.
Okay, now we're on to the Castum uh, SS-102. I think I called it a 101 earlier, but anyway, these things are super cool. Uh, one thing I found, I don't know if it's especially with these, but any of these 8-track, uh, try different 8-track tapes in them because depending on the tape, it can give you a very different sound. And make sure the little felt pads are pushed up nicely so you're getting good tape contact. It really makes a big difference in the overall sound. Okay, gives you an idea what's going on. Anyway, uh, I love these things. I love these old uh, VX55s, uh, VF66s, VX66s. All this old vintage stuff is just fun to play with. So any questions, let me know. Thanks for checking them out. And go easy.